Canberra's chill catching out new arrivals. <laughs> warmth being generated within the class of 2022, meeting in Canberra for the first time. When I first pushed the intercom and explained who I was and the security guard actually responded, welcome to Parliament House, Miss Tink. And I think as I pushed that gate, it was, this is really happening. The breakthrough independent who beat Labor and Fowler, Di Lee, finding her place among the crowd of teals. Well, it's freezing, first of all, <laughs> but it's great to meet um, all the other um, independents. Morning, everyone. Ahead of the two days of civic study, Labor's plans to slash parliamentary staff still a sticking point. The Prime Minister writing to the independents late last week, proposing to cut their additional staff from four to one. It seems negotiations are still open. I've since spoken to the Prime Minister. I think he's willing to have a conversation about it and I look forward to having that conversation when he gets back from Europe. One of the first points of order for the newly elected MPs, how to navigate their 75,000 square metre workplace. The new MPs are among a select group. There have only been 1,240 members to have held a seat in the House of Representatives since Federation welcome the class of 2022. And some have come from very different previous workplaces, among them a miner, a foreign correspondent and a dolphin trainer. You'll feel like you're drinking from a fire hose over the next couple of days. The block of crossbenchers in the 47th parliament rising to 16, bolstered by six independents and three greens. Like we've got the largest crossbench we've ever seen, we've got more independents, we've got more women, we've got younger people. You know, Parliament is starting to reflect what the population of Australia really looks like. Fresh faces joining a century-old democratic tradition. Tysok Husey, SBS World News.